Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com coming at you with 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. This is uh, pick your team number seven. <coughs> Excuse me. There's everyone right here. Uh, Andy, I forgot your last spot mojo star. There it is. Andy S. picked up Germany last. So he, he helped fill up this break. And there's everyone right there. And remember at the end of the break, at the end of the break, I'm giving away $75 break credit. U.S. dollars. <coughs> can't be losing my voice already, folks. It's only Thursday. I've got museum collection tomorrow. All right, let's pop this fresh case open. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah, I, I could use a whiskey as well, Andy S. Um, Andy Garner, it's um, it's a winner-take-all $75 of break credit, but you have to buy at least three teams, as it says in the item description, to get one entry into this promo. I think there's only like nine nine people in this promo this time, so that's, a really, that's really good odds. All right. Six boxes up there, six boxes down there. One, two, three for the top row. Four, five, six for the bottom row. And it's five. TJ guessed five just before I rolled it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these we will reserve for next time. Where's my Sharpie? Sorry, I have a cough drop in my in my mouth now, so I apologize if I sound like I'm talking with marbles in my mouth. Just put squigglies on there to let you know that they're from the same case. Let's source uh, some sorcery, TJ. I'm guessing the dice roll on that. All right. Now, as you remember, not all boxes have autographs. But they can have low numbered. They can have no, low numbered parallels, which could sell for, you know, just as much as an autograph in some cases. So there you go. Uh, you know what? Boombox saying he wants a Pele, Rivaldo, Sampaio, and Neymar quad auto. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Easy. Have we seen a multi a dual auto yet out of this? We must have. So the big news, of course, in recent in recent days is oh yeah, absolutely, Nino. That, that's the goal. Try to pull everybody in auto. Um. The big news, of course, we were just talking about this before we started the break, was Germany being knocked out of the World Cup by Korea. Um, and and I was just saying, I was just kind of stunned because I was like, you can't take a team with that much individual talent and not get at least get out of the group stages. So the, now the question is, and what do you, what does everyone think? Why, why did this happen? It's not just, I mean, 
not just because they left Leroy Sané at home, right? But uh, you got to point to coaching at this point. Maybe, I mean, the squad selection just wasn't right. The entire construction of the roster probably just wasn't right. Yeah, Ben's saying that they just, Germans picked the wrong squad. And I think mentally, they may have just been too lax, as Nicholas Leslie is saying. I agree. I was listening to, this is what I was going to say earlier, I was listening to um, Guardian has a football weekly, or I think it's daily now for the World Cup, football weekly podcast, when some of the guys on the show, on the pod, were talking about it. And they were like, and this, and I'm sure everyone's seen the stat by now, that I think in the last five, you know, last five World Cups or so, the the returning champion hasn't gotten, most of them haven't gotten out of the group. I think maybe one team had got to like the quarterfinals or something like that. But the point is, when you win the World Cup four years before, and then you don't win the next the next four years later, people are always, the question was on the podcast was, why is that? And so the guys are speculating that a lot of times teams don't mix things up. Teams don't change because they'll stick with, oh yeah, Ben, ben, ben G saying the, the exact same thing, you know, they stick with the same club. They're like, oh, we won the World Cup four years ago with these guys. Let's just keep going with the same guys. And so they don't freshen up the squad. And if that happens, and then you have bad coaching, you know, and then you have wrong squad selections. There's Timo Werner, speaking of Germany. That goes to Andy S. Then you get that kind of result. And I think that's what happens. We'll save one of these Cristiano Ronaldos. 58 out of 125 for Switzerland. Right, and Chris Torres is right too, yeah. And then four years is, is especially for a World Cup, is like is an eternity. But a lot of times you know, and I and I can see where Germany maybe fell fell into the trap of not maybe freshening up, up the team. Because they're like, well, we've got a pretty young team. We've got some vets, but we got a, young, a relatively young team. You know, we're good. You know, these guys aren't super old. I, mean, I think they had to do a little, a, a little, a little something. Because I guess you, I guess you would think that. I don't know. I think the I think the main shock to me, I think the main shock to me and, and to, to many others, is that it's not like it. It didn't feel like Germany was a collection of old players, or Germany was a collection of, you know, or that their 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 national team was trans was in some sort of transitional phase, you know, where they're moving from one generation to the next generation, you know. So I think that's what was somewhat shocking about it. But Paul de Jong was saying here in the chat, he's like, "Hey, let's listen. It's all about it's about hunger." You know, and and you're right. They just didn't look they didn't look very hungry. You know, in a team like Korea who had no shot at a 199, they looked, you know, they scored two goals at the very in the dying minutes of the game. But a lot of times, this is what this goes to Ben Clark with Korea, and I think a lot of times that kick in the pants sometimes is what will. Well, losing to Mexico should have been their kick in the pants, but clearly that didn't help. So maybe this will kick kick him in the pants for four years from now. There's uh, Johan Berg Gudmundsen, 42 out of 149. Chris Torres trying to trying to shoehorn in. I think he was just trying to sh throw shade at me, you guys. 
as a Dodger fan. Iceland did well in the Euros. Did okay in the World Cup. 42 out of 140. That was, the, that was like the sexy underdog pick to go far. It didn't happen. Um, ben G. was asking earlier, who's everyone's pick to win the World Cup? Nicholas Leslie saying Columbia with the O. Nice. Good one. Not not Columbia, the university. Um, and Stavro saying Russia only because he put a couple pennies on Russia to win the World Cup at plus 5,000. That's the only reason why. I don't think he actually believes that. Um, I put pennies on... Uh, Put a couple pennies on Spain. That's a safe bet. Spain at plus 600. Um, France, plus 700. The longer shots, Belgium, plus 1,100. That looks like a good bet. And England, possibly, at plus 1,600. Yeah, what was the hit in that box? TJ, you're right. That's out of 125, 125, 199, 149. I don't, there was no special card in there either. On average. Yeah, no card facing reverse either, right? Boo. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully multiple hits in the next box. Yes, that's true, Andy. Wayne Rooney spending the twilight of his career, the sunset of his career in our nation's capital. How much does he have left in the tank? No, no, it's it's no sleight of hand. I am terrible at sleight of hand. <laughs> don't trust don't trust any breaker who does magic. I can't for the life of me. Uh, ben G, who who's a fan of Wayne Rooney. I'm not the biggest fan. I'm I'm a Liverpool supporter, so. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he has a lot left in the tank. I mean, how's how's Latan doing here? You know, like he's okay. Isn't like Ashley Cole here too? I don't know. Mixed results, I think. Beckham did okay. All right, next box. Hopefully, making up for the last box. Now, these aren't numbered. This guy maybe should have went, right? Maybe it was a curse. They left him at home, so it was a curse. There's Marquinhos for Brazil. Forty at ninety nine. Yeah, we did see that Rooney Shrek, as I like to call him. Miguel Layun, Mohamed Salah. I think. I think this was another sort of underdog pick. I guess if Sergio Ramos didn't bring down Mohamed Salah, he might have had a more active World Cup. There's Olivier Giroud for Le Bleu. It looks like we got a hit right here. It is for Brazil. Rivaldo. There you go. Boombox. Although he wanted a quad auto featuring this guy, among others. 
But this will this will have to do for now, Boombox. Nice hit. The gains from uh, what Wayne Wayne Rooney would get the gains from teaching younger American players. Is that what he wants to do? I feel like he just wants to chill and play soccer. There's Timo Werner, New Era, Refractor. I can't believe Japan moved on. Which which common? I'll send you one of those, sure. Did I did I just blow by that? I don't know. I don't see it. <laughs> Sorry. If I see another one, yeah. If I see another one, I'll I'll let you know. I saw Mats Hummels. I mean, I'm looking at all these German guys here, and I'm just like, how did they not? Like, I can totally see them. Yeah, I mean, listen, Me Mexico has a solid team. I could, I could see Mexico surprising a big team like this at a 199. You know what I mean? But it's not advanced. That's crazy. It's just still, still kind of mind blowing. But I guess. We've seen, we saw Leicester City win the Premier League, the English Premier League title. We saw in the NCAA tournament, we saw a 16 beat a 1. I suppose anything can happen. They did. Me yeah, me I mean, Mexico had the tactics spot on. Juan Carlos Osorio. It was like some sort of some sort of magician that game, some sort of sorcerer. I just figured it out, and Germany just couldn't adjust. They were just like, "Wait, what?" Oh, we got two matches on Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, on the thirtieth. Who does everyone have? Uruguay, Portugal. Who does everyone have there? That's the, that's the first of the round of 16 matches. I say Uruguay. I just don't think in this knockout state. I mean, can you count out can you count out Cristiano Ronaldo? He what if he goes into LeBron mode? Cristiano Ronaldo could do that. But I just don't think I just don't think it'll happen. I think Uruguay has too much firepower up front. They've got a decent defense. They got a pretty solid defense, right? Godin in the back there. I think their midfield is a little soft, but I think they sh they sh Portugal shouldn't trouble them too much. Andy's rooting for Uruguay. Ben saying Uruguay easy. That's ordinary gamers. Ben G saying Uruguay to beat Ronaldo 2 nothing 2 nil. Davy going with Portugal. Davy thinks what? LeBron goes uh, CR7 goes LeBron mode. Just drags that team kicking and screaming through the tournament. Isn't that what happened in the Euros? You know, Portugal slips into the next round and then they just they just march through the rest of the tournament. I can't I can't see that happening again though.
I don't know. And they, I mean, maybe they could, maybe they could frustrate, they could frustrate Luis Suarez, get him to bite someone again. There's Stefan Lichtsteiner for Switzerland. They have advanced too, right? Eric Jennings with that one. They play on next Tuesday, I think. We got Marcus Berg for Sweden. Sweden, that's for Kip. Sweden somehow tops their group. They face Switzerland. Victor Moses, Nigeria. And we've got Peter Schmeichel for Denmark. Nice Peter Schmeichel going to Nicholas Leslie and the Danes. There it is. Great keeper. And there's Casper Schmeichel. Oh, old old Casper. That's his kid. Is there, is there a Peter Schmeichel, Casper Schmeichel dual autograph? There should be. All right, halfway through this half case break. This is uh, pick your team number seven. Ordinary says, Ben says no, but there should be. Yeah, there should be. I can't think of too many, I think, I can't think of too many father-son combos. Right, that that played like the you know same position and all that. There, there I mean, I'm sure there has been in many in history, but not like I can't think of any like bigger names like the Schmeichels. All right, uh, the second match. Uh, the second match on Saturday, France and Argentina. Who does everyone have in that France-Argentina? The second match on Saturday. I'm going France. I'm going with Le Bleu. Argentina struggled to, uh, to even qualify for the World Cup. Then they struggled to exit the group. And they're facing a, and they're facing a solid French team who I feel like really haven't hit on all cylinders. Benji said, "What it's going to go to go to a draw, and then penalties." I don't know if I could handle that. 90 minutes and then ex extended time and then penalties. Take forever. You got to you got to think that French team Benji 
they got to get things going, no? Maybe some Paul, Paul Pogba magic? <laughs> Never-ending penalties if Messi is involved. Yeah, Messi not a good penalty taker. But who's... <laughs> Who's gonna who's gonna take him off the ball on a on a free kick or a penalty? Nicholas Bentner of Denmark. I feel like Nicholas Bentner has some pretty he's pretty con, he's a pretty confident dude. Forty one out of one forty nine. There's Jonas Hector for Deutschland. That is for Andy S. Last spot mojo. That is 33 out of 65. And we've got Nemanja Matic for Serbia. Who has the Serbs? That'll be Philip with Serbia. Nice autograph. Remember the decision? The Antoine Griezmann decision? La decision? What is he? Who does he think he is? LeBron James? There's Tomas Muller. Robin Olsen. All right, two boxes to go. Uh, yes, there are United States cards in this stuff. I think Pulisic has autographs in here. It's got, they've got to have some inserts and whatnot. We wouldn't have sold them if they, if they didn't have anything. Nick Sanderson, what's going on? All right. Benji saying earlier that France are a team of champions, but an average side collectively. Uh, on Sunday, Sunday matchup, Spain, Russia. Spain should have no trouble with Russia, right? That team is too good, even though some defensive lapses as of late. But I think I think Uruguay sort of exposed that Russian side. The Russians thought they were disrupting the market. They did not. I don't think they're going to advance. Sorry, Stavros. I know Stavros has a plus, plus five thousand on uh, on Russia. I just can't see it happen. I can't see them getting past Spain. I I'm sorry, Stavros. That's just that's just. I just can't see it happening. In fact, like I feel like there's there's nothing to talk about in that match. Until maybe afterwards, if there's like a shock result. So I'm moving on to the second game on Sunday. Croatia-Denmark. I think that's actually going to be a great game. I also think that Croatia may have a, 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 a stronger... Um, a stronger showing than we may think. I think they've got a pretty they've got a decent defense. They got a solid defense. They got they got some players. 
You know, they got they got Luka Modric on there. They've got uh they've got excellent uh Liverpool center back Dejan Lovren back there. Yeah, exactly. I think they they've got a they've got an all around good collective unit. I, I think that they they could shock some people. They could go they could go kind of far. All right, let's see what we have in this break here. There's Delhi Alley for England. England got themselves onto the Eastern the NBA Eastern Conference bracket, the other side. Let's see if I could pronounce his name. Ali Reza. Ali Reza Buran Van. Buran Van. Twenty two out of one ninety nine for Iran. That goes to Andy S with the Iranians. And we've got Xiao Mario for Portugal. That goes to Jason Lahner. Uh, 14 out of 149. And then we've got a refractor of these connections right here. Mario Gotze and Thomas Muller. For Andy S. And Harry Kane. Gold. Gold autograph. Four out of ten. Nice Harry. That's about the number of goals he has this World Cup, right? Four or five? That's a nice one for the three lines. Michael M. He needs to keep scoring if England wants to have a chance at that. Stavros saying, we're holding you to that. If Russia wins the... Are you saying if Russia wins... Oh, this Sunday against Spain? I have to come to work on, on my Sunday... And then you'll buy a thousand dollar worth of brakes. Well, you buy the brakes first, and then I'll come in. Deal. Connections for L three. That's for TJ. When does Mexico play? Mexico plays the following Monday. That the next Monday. Brazil, Mexico. I think uh, I think they can do it. I think they could beat Brazil. There, I said it. There's James Rodriguez. Hector Moreno, refractor. Those aren't as common. And the last box coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck, everybody. Forget that. John Cards asking, how are we looking for elite football? You tell me, John. How many spots are left on the site? I don't have that information on my screen right now. Well, we're running out of time, folks. we got to fill that in the next 20 minutes if it's not full already. we got to fill that in the next 20, 25 minutes 
if we want a chance to break it. Still at two? We've got to fill it by the 45-minute mark, folks. Remember, it's an hour-long break. Otherwise, we'll have to push it till tomorrow. I think there's still two nice teams left. And if there's still two teams left, I think it's Buffalo, Josh Allen, and the Cardinals. Josh Rosen. The Joshes. The Josh and quarterbacks. NYK, what's going on? Andy looking for the Pulisic autograph. People, people with people writing checks already. If I pull a Pulisic auto, I'll buy the last spot. Sandy says. All right, come on, Pulisic auto. Stavros says that's why I got to do random teams. They'll fill up in ten minutes. False. Stavros, believe it or not, we didn't start breaking yesterday. We've been doing this for four years, five nights a week, and I know that random teams don't sell as well. As, uh, as pick your teams. At least for our crew, anyway. I know you just thought, think we just started breaking last week. And you've got all the right ideas for how to move, move our breaks. But we've got the data. We've got the dollar figures. We know where the money goes. Now, just because you want the random team rate, I get it. All right, good luck, everybody. Last box. There's Diego Godin for Uruguay. We've got Santiago Arias for Colombia, 87 out of 199. That goes to Michael M., There's Coutinho, who's been looking great. Laurent Koscielny. There's Chicharito. Scores. We'll save one of these for TJ. Chicharito. And here's the autograph. I hope it's an autograph. It's Marcus Rashford for the Three Lions. So another England autograph for Michael M., Maybe that means England's going to win the whole thing. I have them at plus 1,600. Come on, England. <laughs> All right. And let's see if we can find some other low-numbered hits or cards before we call it. It could be like one of those landmark cards. Maybe there's got to be something in this stack right here, right? There we go. Moussa Dembele for Belgium. Belgium is a good shout to win the World Cup, right? 24 out of 149. They're facing they're facing Japan on Monday. I feel like I feel like they will not have too much trouble. Too much trouble there. All right. What else we have? We got fundamentals. Ivan Rakitic. And that is that, my friends. Thanks, everyone. Break credit time. Let's see who gets the 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 money, 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 money. All right. The green, the money. Hey. Dirty, baby, I want your money, got your money, say hey, baby, I got your money. All right. Now, you have to, as the item description says, you have to buy at least three teams to get one entry, one entry max, in the in the, in the winner take all $75 break credit. So let's sort by your first names. 
So Andy S. gets a spot. So does Ben. <coughs> Eric, Gabriel. Kip, Mark, Michael. <coughs> Dying again. Michael G, Michael M, Nicholas. All right, so that's a total of 11. Name on top, wins it all. Good luck, winner take all. After nine times, five and a four. Two. Hmm. Five. Six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Name on top after nine times. St stays with Kip, 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 hooray! Kip, Kip, hooray! $75 of break credit coming your way, Kip. Thanks very much, everybody, for joining the break, for making it happen. The second half is in the store. Another $75 of break credit being given away. Right there, jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's a lot, lot of teams that are like eight bucks. So make it happen, folks. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Go soccer.